everybody, and today I want to talk about tips that can save you a little money. Sometimes it can be a whole lot of money. One of the biggest tips I can give you is to pray. Pray about everything. Pray for God to give you wisdom. Another tip is this one is about dishes and water and how much you use. Most people are clueless as to how much water they actually use when it comes to cleaning dishes. So this is why I have this small pot. Now I'm going to show you. This thing came from Dollar Tree. I paid a dollar for my, I don't know what you call these, drain, for draining dishes or whatever. I just let my dishes air dry. I paid a buck for this. Now that small amount of water that you saw in that pan is less than a gallon of water. Now I've already told you guys, I measure my soap that I use to clean my dishes because otherwise you use too much. I use a teaspoon of soap and that is it. Now look at all the dishes you are going to see that I cleaned with that water and I rinsed and I used a half a gallon of water to rinse. I don't leave my water running constantly. Now here we go. You're going to get ready to see. I did a heck of a lot of dishes with that small amount of water. Now it keeps going, okay? More and more dishes to that little amount of water. And so it doesn't take much to clean dishes. I put just soap on a rag and clean dishes. Now, sugar. This is another way you can save money on sugar. Don't use as much. I, my favorite cake is a cake that comes off the back of the Hershey's cocoa. Calls for two cups of sugar. I use a cup and a half. I do the same thing with my chocolate chips. Now, I use the recipe on the back. I get my chips, chocolate chips from Costco. And I use the chocolate chip recipe on the back here. It calls for two cups of chocolate chips. I only use a cup and a half. That saves me a half of a cup every single time I make a recipe, which saves me a lot more chocolate chips and I can actually make more batches for my money. Don't be afraid to try something different. When I was growing up, many times we would have fried potatoes for dinner, breakfast, white beans. Well, throw you some white beans in with your potatoes. It will stretch it even for breakfast. There's nothing wrong with it. Now in this case, what I did is I drained the juice from some pinto beans that I had cooked. Because I cook a lot more pinto beans for breakfast. But there is absolutely no reason why you couldn't throw some white beans in this. Now, I have a little bit of oil in the bottom of this pan. I fried the potatoes first. And now I'm going to fry the beans in with the potatoes. Now you could put white beans. This is something you could serve for dinner. I'm serving this for breakfast with some scrambled eggs. But it is a way to stretch your groceries, your food, and give you more with less. On to our next tip that saves us money on garbage bags. Now, I got this little can at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's in my restroom. I do not buy garbage bags. I use this kind of bags in my kitchen, in my restroom, in my bedroom. And I hold the bag in the bottom of the can. Now, it's not going to hold an absorbent amount, but I don't really care. It holds enough that it lasts me for a couple of days before I have to change the bag. I store the bags inside the can so that when I pull the bag out, when it's full, the bags that I use are laying right there. I always get extra bags. I ask my son. Pick me up bags whenever he goes to Walmart or whatever store he goes to and bring me some extra home. There are hundreds and hundreds of tips that we can use that will help save us money. This is just a couple. I'll give you more along the way and I hope you enjoy these. And I hope you will try them because they truly do save you a lot of money over time if you keep doing it.